Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said, it said, lean not unto thy own understanding, but in all that way, acknowledge the Lord, and he will what? Direct your path. Is that correct? It said, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. It means that your understanding is good, but when it comes to decisions, certain decisions, don't try, don't rely on your understanding. Trust in the understanding of God. God is the one that knows the heart of that brother. You see, a brother can be so faithful in his heart. God knows that in 20 years, he will be a Yahoo boy. You don't know that. He can be, he can hold Mike and when he's preaching, power. God knows in five years he'll be a thief. And God knows your ability and know that if you can endure. And sometimes God brings two people together for a godly seed. Remember Rachel? Let's not go there. Sometimes God can bring two different people together just because of a seed that he wants to produce. The kind of child. Why is it that it's Joseph that was picked to guide Mary? Why, why is it that when Joseph left, God did not find another man and said, go and meet Mary and, pray, and you marry her, the child. Why is it that it's Joseph? Because God knows what he wants to raise. God knows the heart of Joseph. Look at the heart of Joseph that even when he knew that Mary was pregnant, he never went out to announce. So God knew the heart that Joseph was the right person for this marriage. So, and these things are very, very important. That's what I'm saying. It's very, very important that you know it. Lord, who am I to marry? Who is the person that you have destined for me? Who is the person that you are believing? Who is the person that you are sending to me? Who is the one that is meant for me? You don't need 100 encounters to know that is the one. When you have that encounter, everything in your life will agree it. Write it down. Because after you have had that encounter, the devil will come to make sure that encounter is not true. After you saw that this is the one to marry, you might call him one day and say, hey, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy, I beg, I don't have time for this. And you're like, is this not the person? Is this not the person the Lord is just telling him that this is the person to? And then you say, no, God might be, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You believe the word of God. Once he has said it, and you believe it, you wait. Some of you, some ladies have collected so many lists. This one want to marry me. Give me your name. 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 <laughs> Give me your name. Give me your name. Then I'm put the name. They say, Reggae, 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 Reggae. One, two, three, four. Okay, now this one. More use this one. Pray. More leave the rest. More pray. When you are with one, hold that one. Pray about it. When you hear no, shift from that one. Take another one. Pray about it. Only you are praying the five names. Lord, show me the person out of this five god is even surprised why do you have five and let me tell you if you don't have a prayer life and you don't know how to hear god you can't hear god for your marriage it's not when you want to marry that you start having a prayer life you must naturally have a prayer life and let me tell you your prayer life can scare some chaff prayer life help breaks remove some chaff from coming close to you as a lady but when you don't have a prayer life, any dustbin can come and close to you and want to pour their nonsense to you. You are a tongue-speaking Christian. When people look at you, even the Bobo Asa that is living a sinful life, they know who are Christians. They know. When they look at you, they know. You cannot be dressing and you say, oh, everybody's coming for me. Let's check what you are wearing. You cannot be wearing bomb shot and wearing skinny thing and you say, men are not coming for you. Many men go for anything that is in skate. They just go like this. Say, everybody, <laughs> hey, Cynthia, everybody, man, everybody just coming after me. I'm like a hot dog. You're a dog indeed. Listen to me. How you appear determines what you attract. If you want to marry, if you want to marry as a young person, you want to know who truly, now nah, I'm not saying you should look stupid. There are decent, oh boy. Boy, can look good. Can look good, and your clothes is corporate. You are looking good. Anyone that see, when a tout sees a corporate person, he knows that this one is not my class. They know their classes. Even when they stop you and you speak to them, they know this one no go work. I just want try luck. That alone would chase away some useless people. And anyone that someone's courage to approach you. We'll have something here. 
when he's speaking to you the way you even look at them that is when you start knowing the fire you carry do you know your eyes carry fire he says sister i want uh, um, 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 we'll, we'll talk like that the eyes you have intimacy with god some sisters are somewhere praying god give me god fearing men and them they are not god fearing women god will not take his precious son and put to a dog no he won't he will not do that 